Hey friends, Joe from Reverb here, and today we have an epic guide to nine warm audio microphones based on classic designs. We're gonna check them out on vocals, acoustic and electric guitars, and bass. Let's get going. If you're at all interested in recording, you've probably heard of most of the truly sought after microphones when it comes to large and small diaphragm condensers. You probably also know that many of those originals can be pretty costly. Thankfully, Warm Audio has been blazing a trail of super affordable mics based on these classic designs. Today, we're gonna to hear nine of them on a variety of instruments. If you don't trust YouTube compression uh, and wanna hear these examples in a lossless format, click the link in the description. You can hear everything in high fidelity. And of course, every mic we're using today can be found new and used from trusted shops on Reverb. So we're gonna do this shootout by instrument, playing or singing the same passage on each mic so you can hear the tonal differences on each instrument. Before we get to that, let's go through a brief overview of all the mics today. To start, Warm Audio has three flavors of 47, which are based on variations of a holy grail microphone, the Telefunken or Neumann U47. The originals were used by artists like The Beatles, Frank Sinatra, and Ella Fitzgerald. The WA47 is a tube condenser based on an amalgam of two flavors of the original tube U47. Warm Audio went to great lengths to manufacture and source components that are faithful to the original, including a K47 style capsule, American made transformer, and a Tung Sol 5751 vacuum tube. This gives the WA47 a low noise, creamy and smooth top end with a larger than life bottom end that is beloved on vocals and acoustic instruments. And it boasts a whopping nine polar patterns for a huge array of uses. The WA47F is one of Warm Audio's latest releases. It's a FET condenser based on the U47 FET that followed the original tube version in the late 1960s when the original tubes stopped being manufactured. The FET version of Warm Audio's 47 has a similar build to the tube version, but employs premium Fairchild transistors rather than a vacuum tube. Because of this, the WA47F can handle much more fast transients and SPL, which makes it a game changer for miking drums and is known for being a secret weapon on a kick drum, vocals, and electric instruments. The WA47 Junior is an extremely affordable FET-based transformerless condenser that has a similar vintage reproduction aesthetic, but with a 47-style capsule that allows it to be accessible for any budget. The WA47 Junior has three polar patterns. Warm Audio also has the WA67, which is a painstakingly faithful recreation of Neumann's U60, eventually known as the U67. The original tube condenser featured many technological advancements from the U47 that allowed it to be more versatile and rugged in the studio. The original 67 was beloved on just about any instrument and used by artists like Led Zeppelin, The Temptations, and Nirvana. The WA67 is certainly not just a look-alike model, as they've gone to great lengths to replicate the capsule and the EF86 tube and circuitry to get it as close to the original as possible. Next up is the new WACX12, which recreates the original AKG C12 produced in Austria from 1953 to 1963. With only 2,500 originals made, this is another holy grail microphone known for its musical mid-range and smooth top end, which make it amazing on vocals and acoustic instruments. The original C12 was favored by the Beatles, Quincy Jones, and Taylor Swift, to name a few. Warm Audio's CX12 cuts no corners on design and component quality making it a truly faithful recreation of the original C12. The WA87R2 recreates the Neumann U87, a transistor-based condenser that has become the most ubiquitous microphone of all time, due to its incredible musical versatility, reliability, and usage by just about any artist you can think of, including David Bowie, The Beatles, Stevie Wonder, Ed Sheeran, and Amy Winehouse. The WA87 uses high quality components like an NOS Fairchild transistor, custom wound Cinemag transformer, and a K87 capsule that is designed to the exact specs of the U87s produced in 1968 to 1972. The WA14 is based on AKG's 70s studio classic C414. The 414 has been a studio workhorse for decades, being used on just about any instrument you can imagine and is known for its realism and thickness. The WA14 faithfully recreates the brass capsule that contains all the smoothness, top-end clarity, and overall warmth of the original at a fantastic price. The WA251 is based on the 1950s Telefunken ELA M251, 
which is generally known as one of the greatest vocal mics ever produced. The original 251 has become extremely pricey due to the rare components inside, but Warm Audio has managed to source and create parts that retain the 251's incredibly musical properties on vocals, guitars, piano, and just about anything else you throw at it. While the original 251 appeared on countless hit records through the years, it is still favored by a wide array of artists like Bjork, Frank Ocean, and Beyonce. Stepping into the small diaphragm world, we have the WA-84. Based on the Neumann KM-84, one of the most famous small condensers ever created. The KM-84 is generally known for its neutral, flat response and its use of off-axis pickup. This makes it great on acoustic stringed instruments, snares, hi-hats, drum overheads, but Motown also used 84s as vocal mics to great effect. Warm Audio recreates this classic mic in great detail and keeps the price attainable for any producer. The WA-84 comes in a cardioid single, stereo pair, and has a premium package that includes an Omni capsule. Lastly, we want to mention Warm Audio's WA-8000, which is based on the incredibly popular and ridiculously expensive Sony C800. We're not going to be demoing this today, but we do have our own video on the WA-8000 that you can check out. Okay, so there's an overview on all the mics we're going to use today. It's worth noting that many of these mics have become kind of primarily known as vocal mics or acoustic guitar mics, but they can be used on lots of different instruments. To hear the sonic qualities in real time, we're going to use them on male and female vocals, acoustic and electric guitars, and bass. All the mics are going through a Universal Audio Apollo interface, and we're going to be using all of them in the cardioid pattern. Some others I've seen Might never be mean Might never be cross Or try to be boss But they wouldn't do For nobody else gave me the thrill With all your faults I love you still It had to be you Wonderful you It had to be you some others I've seen Might never be mean Might never be cross Or try to be boss But they wouldn't do For nobody else gave me a thrill With all your faults I love you still It had to be you Wonderful you It had to be you some others I've seen Might never be mean Might never be cross or Try to be boss But they wouldn't do For nobody else gave me a thrill With all your faults I love you still It had to be you Wonderful you It had to be you some others I've seen Might never be mean Might never be cross Or try to be boss But they wouldn't do For nobody else gave me the thrill With all your faults I love you still It had to be you Wonderful you It had to be you some others I've seen Might never be mean Might never be cross Or try to be boss But they wouldn't do For nobody else gave me the thrill With all your faults I love you still It had to be you Wonderful you It had to be you some others I've seen Might never be mean Might never be cross Or try to be boss But they wouldn't do For nobody else gave me a thrill With all your faults I love you still It had to be you Wonderful you It had to be you some others I've seen Might never be mean Might never be cross Or try to be boss 
but they wouldn't do For nobody else gave me the thrill With all your faults, I love you still It had to be you, wonderful you It had to be you Some others I've seen Might never be mean Might never be cross Or try to be boss But they wouldn't do For nobody else gave me a thrill With all your faults, I love you still It had to be you, wonderful you It had to be you Some others I've seen Might never be mean Might never be cross Or try to be boss But they wouldn't do For nobody else gave me a thrill With all your faults, I love you still It had to be you, wonderful you It had to be you It's not far, just close by Through an open door Going home, going home I'm a-going home It's not far, just close by Through an open door Going home, going home I'm a-going home It's not far, just close by Through an open door Going home, going home I'm a-going home It's not far, just close by Through an open door Going home, going home I'm a-going home It's not far, just close by Through an open door Going home, going home I'm a-going home It's not far, just close by Through an open door Going home, going home I'm a-going home It's not far, just close by Through an open door Going home, going home I'm a-going home It's not far, just close by Through an open door Going home, going home I'm a-going home It's not far, just close by Through an open door Going home, going home I'm a-going home
There we have it, the gamut of Warm Audio's super affordable mic line. All these microphones would make a great addition in a home or pro studio. You can find them all on Reverb, of course. Let us know in the comments which one you like the best. See you next time. Phew. Wipes it, he wipes, <laughs> he wipes his forehead. <laughs> you don't have to say phew. I just wrote it.